Hey, what's up guys? Sanjay here from Tech for Spec, and today we're looking at a ROM review for uh, the Galaxy S3 and this is um, Omega 15 and um, it brings Android 4.1.1 for the Galaxy S3. It's based on a leaked version, um, the LH6 leaked version, I believe. Um, yep, so uh, it brings uh, Android Jelly Bean to the Galaxy S3 and the first things you would notice is how smooth everything is and if you thought the Galaxy S3 was really smooth uh, just because of the quad core Exynos processor this just makes it even that much more smoother it's amazing how smooth um, the transitions are um, we also have a lot of uh, um, a lot of new uh, what? transition animations but um, as you can see there are some really weird uh, stuff going in as well now if I pinch on the home screen home screen edit page open that happens which is kind of annoying and if I click on something Workspace two of seven. that happens too and as you heard um, when when I uh, Three, go through the quick one five one, yeah yeah two, that's that's really not cool main menu edit page open um so i haven't found a way to disable that maybe uh there is an omega 16 right now i have not been able to test it this is the rom i tested for a few um days almost a week now so i'm reviewing okay this. so now if you hit um and press and hold the home button you usually get the multitasking uh menu but now we have the task manager which is over there as you can see we have some newer transitions um, now if I go to something different like settings um, those transitions make the experience much that much more um, appealing so uh, it makes it much more fun to use the phone but anyway we also have Google Now here which is which is really cool um, and you can of course uh, use it to find whatever you need to find really quick it's much faster than s voice is I'll, I'll do a quick test uh, for you guys let's go on Google now how tall is LeBron James LeBron James is 2.03 meters tall okay so that was pretty quick now if we do go to s voice how tall is LeBron James? Now this, of course, will take a while. I'm not sure why. Probably because it's Samsung software. I mean, it hasn't had the time to get updated yet. But anyway, as is, it's pretty bad. But it will pull up the... Um... Network error. Okay. Please try again. It usually will pull up an answer from Google, like uh, 2.03 meters, and just uh, speak it out, which is also cool. Um, as you can see, uh, when you do try to pick something that has uh, two actions, uh, you now have the the Nexus, I mean, uh, the Jelly Bean selection option. There's no always use this option. There's now just one or so always, which is okay. But um, it takes more time, in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, and, of course, we have the notification bar. We have some new stuff here. Um, actually, it's not new, per se. It's just uh, just more, um, more fluid with its animation. But um, compared to the previous version of uh, uh, Omega ROM, we don't have flashlight or uh, hotspot toggle or any of that. Uh, stuff so um, yeah it's probably a work in progress again um, Omega 16 might have fixed this but um, we have of course the big time there and the date and we have um, the jelly bean uh, if you get an email or something you get a huge notification you can shrink it by using two fingers and sliding up um, very cool stuff uh, that comes with Android jelly bean um, and that's pretty much it for the pros. 
And now for the cons. Now, all these uh, problems are not based on the developer. Uh, they're also not deal breakers. I was able to um, run this uh, ROM as my daily driver with these. So, don't think of this as a deal breaker. But, um, yeah, let's just uh, look into it. Now, when you're in the browser and you turn around, turn this over, uh, usually there will be a lot of artifacting. Like, uh, it'll get all staticky. It sometimes works through like it did there. Um, I don't know where else I can look. Uh, let's just go to an app or something, maybe settings. Okay, so um, there is some artifacting once in a while. It just rebooted and it does go away. Another thing is battery life. I've had horrible battery life almost uh, almost half of what I usually get. And it's mainly because of GPSD. I am not sure what that is. Maybe it's the Android system. Uh, I'm not sure. I turned off GPS and it's been off for a few days now, as you can see. And it still does drain um, a lot of battery power from GPSD. And it's continuously on. I just unplugged this... Um, phone from the charger so uh, yeah it's uh, it has halved my battery life my usual battery life so I'm getting around uh, uh, 18 hours uh, with uh, moderate use so that's not very good I usually get around a day and a half so yep yeah. all right so finally um, I'd like to talk about when you plug in the phone to the charger uh, you get um, the force close uh, Android vibrations, so that is like a, a short vibration, and uh, a couple of seconds later we get three quick vibrations. Uh, most of you should know what that feels like. And it doesn't say what force closes, but um, it does happen every other time you plug into uh, the socket to charge. Um, that's pretty annoying, uh, I must say. But um, again, not a deal breaker. You just live with whatever has force closed but you never know um, something that does uh, matter is the phone does reboot or soft boot a lot um, you could just be doing your thing playing a game or browsing the internet and it could just just uh, die on you and reboot again so that can be very annoying especially if you're navigating or texting someone um, it does tend to happen uh, once in a while, uh, at least twice a day. So those are pretty much the cons of Omega 15 slash uh, the leak uh, firmware from Samsung. Um, it's definitely, like I said before, not a deal breaker. You can continue to use this ROM as your daily driver, although there is Omega 16 now, which probably has addressed a couple of these issues. Um, that would be it for us from Tech for Spec, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys later.